Hi, this is Drew with Drew Brashler Photography with a tutorial on how to dodge and burn using curves or levels and a history brush inside of Adobe Photoshop CS5. Now, most of my editing of photos from a wedding or a portrait session is inside of Adobe Lightroom. However, when I need to do additional editing, say maybe dodging and burning, uh, softening skin, or blemish removal, I tend to enjoy using Photoshop. My favorite way to dodge and burn in Photoshop is using a thing called a history brush, which is located right here in the tool palette. The history brush works hand in hand with the history window, so we are need to open that. So let's go ahead and open that. We go to up to the menu bar, click window, and then go and click history. This brings up our history window. The history window basically keeps a log of all of the adjustments that have been done to this image, say for the last 25. Um, adjustments. You can edit the amount of histories that are saved inside of your preferences. Now, uh, an adjustment, so levels. We're going to go ahead and do a little levels adjustment. Makes a levels right here. Now we're going to go ahead and do some curves. Makes a curves history. Now, the history kind of works as an undo. You can basically click back. Um, but the power comes with the history brush when uh, you are able to paint the last history. So, for instance, I'm wanting to go ahead and brighten up these flowers here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my curves. And now I'm just looking only at the flowers. And I say that because if I was to do this adjustment, it would totally blow out the dress. So we have adjusted curves for the flowers right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and undo. And then the history brush uses this little box right here. This basically sets what the history brush is going to paint. So we're going to click that, and then we're just going to paint this. So we just went ahead and brightened up those flowers. Now I like to brighten up her arms, so we're going to go ahead and again use curves. And just go ahead and brighten up her arms just a little bit. There we go. So then we're going to go ahead and click back one, and then click the box. And we're just going to edit her arms just a little bit. Now I'd like to go ahead and brighten up the bottom of her dress, so I'm going to go ahead and do this again. Okay. So we click the box again, and we paint. Now this also works for any image adjustment that you can do to a photo. So if I was wanting to go ahead and soften her skin, um, one of my favorite tools is by ImageNomic, uh, it's Portraiture. And just going to go ahead and select the skin tones here, press OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and go back in the history and select Portraiture. And now I'm able to just apply softening of the skin to her arms. So this is just one of the ways that you can do dodging and burning um, and editing an image. Uh, I mean, you can do this with everything. Say you wanted to go ahead and saturate uh, these flowers, and I'm just going to do a horrible saturation here so you can see. Um, you know, with saturation, you can also paint um, with these things. Or say you wanted to go ahead and change uh, the color of her arms to be, uh, you know, a blue to make her look like an alien. Um, you can also paint these type of things. So the, the history brush is a very powerful tool um, and I find to use this the most when dodging and burning. It's a lot more controlled way of doing dodging and burning inside of Photoshop. So this is uh, another tutorial by me. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, post below. Thank you.